have a fibroid and you are trying to get pregnant what is this what does this mean when you have a fibroid and you are trying to get pregnant in this video today we are going to talk about how you can get pregnant even if you have a fibroid mu video ya fem ya lero tugenda kogera ko gutya gusobola kubanga ufuna olubuto wadenga obadde olina ekizimba kituita fibroid you have done the ultrasound scan and the doctor has told you that you have a fibroid and you are asking yourself how are you going to get pregnant fibroids are swellings which actually develop inside your womb fibroids oba ebizimba yetuise ebikalanga bye bino ebikula munabana yo muchara ate ogendo kulabanga echero kuti okubireta normally biba biva kubintu nga hormones is what is balancing that many times these fibroids can develop when your hormones are not balancing when we talk about hormones specifically we are talking about those things someone is born with a woman is born with these chemicals they are called hormones and specifically we are talking about two hormones the first one is what we call progesterone and then the next one is what we call estrogen now progesterone specifically is a hormone which we call a pregnancy friendly hormone it's a hormone which actually makes the wall of your womb it makes the lining of your womb to thicken so that when the egg attaches and it implants onto your wall then the baby or the fertilized egg is going to grow for a period of 40 weeks which is actually 9 months if this hormone progesterone is low then there are high chances that fertilization can take place the egg comes and it attaches itself onto the wall of your womb but this does not grow it actually ends up into a miscarriage the main reason is because of the low progesterone hormonal levels now progesterone has no effects on fibroids but if at all you actually do not get pregnant you are in your reproductive years and then you do not get pregnant there's going to be a rise of the hormone known as estrogen now estrogen levels rising it's actually connected it correlates with fibroids developing into your womb so we are looking at how can you get pregnant even if you have fibroids how can you get pregnant even if you have fibroids if you have done the ultrasound scan and it has shown that you actually have fibroids what you need to do specifically is you actually need to see your gynecologist who will put you on treatment the treatment we are looking about the treatment we are talking about specifically looks at stabilizing your hormonal levels now that is when your fibroids are below 50 mm let me answer all your questions about fibroids about how you can get pregnant if you have been trying to get pregnant obango badde ageza ko okubanga okuno luto naye nga bichakulemeride geza ko okulabanga ombuza njja kuba mukudamu ebizo gana yonna you can give me a call right now and then i will answer all your questions about fibroids consultation fee is only only uh, it's very affordable give me a call and then we shall talk about it have yourself a great and fantastic day let me see you in my next video tomorrow bye bye a different gender prediction tests are you trying to identify or are you trying to determine the gender of your growing baby in the womb you are pregnant you would like to know whether you are carrying a baby boy or a baby girl in this video today we are going to discuss the different gender prediction tests stay with me up to the end of this video and by the end of this video you will be able to know how to do a gender prediction test Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos i release every day about fertility and reproductive health we are trying to call it to be na kogena ku chetuise gender prediction test osobolo tya okumanya oba oli lubuto lwa mwana muwala oba lwa mwana mulenzi bino bitugenda okogera ko mu video ya fe ya lero nyiga epese ya red oleme okumisinga videos zituteka yo bulikana ko gender prediction tests there are many gender prediction tests on the market 
there are many gender prediction tests out there that have been uh, discussed many times. For example, the Chinese gender prediction test, the Drano gender prediction test, the hairline or the hairstyle uh, gender prediction test, which basically looks at how the hair is distributed along the head of the of the growing baby. But what I'm going to emphasize is that. The, the best way to uh, determine your gender, uh, the gender of the baby, is by doing an ultrasound scan. Wabango bato likuwe uza, utia wosobu loko wanga omanya oba ostude, oba ogena kuzala mwana mwala, oba mwana mwlezi, olina okobanga okwala chetu yita an ultrasound scan. Yabe sobu loko lage chifana ni chitufu, chichi chenye chigena maso. If you do an ultrasound scan, chances are your doctor will actually be able to visualize or your doctor will be able to see images of the growing baby and actually with good ultrasound scan machines the gender of the growing baby will be very very visible but there are many factors which could limit this wabango baddo ko ze scan waliwo bintu binje bisobola kubanga biremesa gender yo mwana okubanga erabika the factors that could interfere with the results of the gender prediction tests through ultrasound scan is when a woman is very fat or when a woman a pregnant mother is obese there are high chances that due to the high amounts of the fat tissue fatty tissue along the abdominal wall the ultrasound scan waves may not be very very able to penetrate through the fat layer and therefore the resulting image may not be very clear. In women who are pregnant and they have lots of gas in their abdomen, there are high chances that the results may actually not be very clear because too much gas it distorts the sound waves. The images are distorted due to the gassy uh, shadows. Wabanga obade opposite scan, nayate Nawezo la ntobade oli rubuto, oli mchala, oli mchala manene, oli rubuto, wali na gasi mungi, oli rubuto wali na masavu manji, wali na esavu linje liyoku rubuto, changunyo okubanga results is a scan, zira ganti, kwa gama teziri very clear. So, if you are looking at doing a gender prediction test, make sure that you actually do what we call a pelvic ultrasound scan but according to law it's not allowed for your doctor to actually disclose the gender of the growing baby although you can discuss this with your doctor in the consultation room or in the room where they are doing the procedure the ultrasound scan your doctor can see something and they will tell you but according to law it's not allowed for you to actually add uh, it is not allowed to officially document the gender of the growing baby. Depending on the country you are from, it, the different laws apply. So maybe in your country, they allow to disclose the gender of the growing baby. But in some countries like India, the law is very strict. The doctor doing the ultrasound scan is not supposed to talk about the gender. They're supposed to talk about other parameters, for example, the position of the baby, whether the growing baby has enough or sufficient amniotic fluid, whether the heartbeat is normal. So they're supposed to talk about other parameters. But the gender, it is actually not allowed in many countries. Kulachi msawo aganyo kubulira sex eyo mwana oba gender eyo mwana Chandi wade chilu njiwa kumanyanti ensi ezimu tezikiriza ngeteka tezikiriza okubanga dokita wo akubulira gender eyo mwana So olina okubanga dokita wo tomuteka nyoko bunke nke kwa wanga takubulide gender eyo mwana tomanya maybe eteka liba Take it if you get worried about it, you can go back to take out the bar, the back is up discussing gender. You man over need that when you examine that the other people don't you over scan the other people don't you gender your man so about a girl of wanga at a a quarter result says jelly conclusive. Thank you for watching today's video, and I believe by the end of this video, you now know that the best way to determine the gender of the growing baby is through or is by doing what we call an ultrasound scan, specifically an obstetric ultrasound scan. Wabango bade omaliza video ya femo, webale nyo, okubela na fe, na icho ino kumanya chidi inti. Ongeri emu yoka yoka, jyosoguro kumanya gender yomana, 
kwe kubanga okola ultra sound scan oba ka tv oba denyo okola ba videos za fe era ka okola mu video eyencha thank you for watching today's video let me see you in tomorrow's video and god bless bye bye Sanyu sanyu mkwano guange okula wa kuvideo ya fene ya liru Nginda kudamu echibuzo kuruachi Ochale medua okubanga ufuna olubuto Okoze bulichimicho na chona Scans ozikoze na inga ate Ochale medua okubanga ufuna olubuto Liru yetu gendo okubanga toge lako In this video today we are going to discuss What could be preventing you from getting pregnant What could be preventing you from getting pregnant We are going to talk about the anti-mullerian hormone and then we are going to talk about the fully co-stimulating hormone tukenda kogela ku hormones bili hormone esoka jeno jetu ise anti-mullerian hormone and then hormone eyoko bili jeno jetu ise fully co-stimulating hormone the anti-mullerian hormone is basically a hormone which actually is released and then it gives us a picture of how your ovaries are it, it gives us a picture about the quality of your eggs are they really viable can they produce a dominant fully co a dominant egg which could be fertilized on the 14th day so more video of a little to get a hormone the tree say and mullerian hormone and mullerian hormone you know a solo to laga a magical gari gatia and mullerian hormone you know no more in a kwa nge tandi kila momo saanfu baka kukumi Mwumusi ezimu esoro kubanga bala gante inokta nikila mwusamfu baka kukuminemu. The normal levels of the anti-mullerian hormone should be at least beginning from 7 onwards up to 10. If you do the fertility test, if you do the pregnancy test, and then it shows you that the anti-mullerian hormone levels are actually lower than 5. You are having a, an AMH level of 1, 1.2, 1.8. Then it means that it is very low. It means your eggs are of low quality. You need medication to stimulate your eggs. And modern hormone testeno, or nga or jikozi, ne results nezivayo, nezila ganti AMH over levels is neza AMH. Hormone yeno jibaisa jibrisa AMH. Webanga edi wan sinyo, then jiba chitegezanti, oba weta gisa treatment. Ngeli targeted okubanga e teresa hormonzo, oba hormone yeno jibrisa AMH. We are also discussing about the second hormone known as the fully co stimulating hormone. FSH fully co stimulating hormone tuliko gera ku hormone eyo ku bilije tuise AMH hormone yeno i mean hormone je tuise fully co stimulating hormone oba FSH hormone yeno ate nayo e playing chinene nyo okulaba anti amajiga na gali okukula gakula bulunji gaberenga ate gasobola kubanga gawa kisibwa oba gabera fertilized kulunaku ola ovulation the fully co stimulating hormone is normally released when a woman has just finished her periods, when the eggs are now beginning to grow, what stimulates these eggs to grow, to become what we call a viable or a dominant follicle, is what we call the FSH or the follicle stimulating hormone. Gwemkwano gwange. Aine chibuzo yeyo, olikuwe guza, osobulo tiyo kubango funo rubuto, olikuwe guza, okozo tiyo kubango funo rubuto, nebu zako, tulabenga ate togira ebi singa ko, mu video ya feno, obanga tu booking ze ku kliniki ya gene tulawa sini togira. Give me a call today if you have any questions and remember to support our work by donating. You can give your gift, just go below the vid this video and then you'll be able to donate towards our work. We are looking at reaching many pregnant mothers with free ultrasound scans. A pregnant mother who does a free ultrasound scan and identifies what could be disturbing her or identifies a problem before it actually, before giving birth, they, they could actually be treated very early and you could actually, we could end up saving a life. So join us by giving your gift. We juju kila nti ndina tu ina bi tulio kutambuza bi okubanga kwe gamba tu tu kila bache la bangi ngato kola scans zezo poide ide geza kwa okula banga owa yeye chona chona chogo sawo de osobolo kubanga donatinga owa yake la kuwa yao wansi wana wa video no genda mu description box oberingo ni ge pesa yao baje kutoa la kupage oberinga ati owa yeye chona chona chogo sawo de chogo owa de chona chona owa chogo tuwa de chona chiba isa donation tu ya kubatu la banga tu chikuwa tira wamu tu fune scans enyinge enyo tu sawo kutu kila abachara abali mbuto tu wakole kwa scans ezo wedele bila bulunji omukama atukume kakulabi mvidi ya yencha 
Thanks a lot for watching today's video. Let me see you uh, in tomorrow's video. Have yourself a great day and God bless. Bye bye. Kizeza ko okubanga ofuna olubuto nenga te doctor wo abugambye nti olina chetuita unexplained infertility olukwebuza kino kitegeza chi osobola otya okubanga ofuna olubuto amangu wadde bakugambye nti olina unexplained infertility mweno video tugenda kogera ku butya bosobola kubanga ofuna amangu olubuto wadde doctor wo abugambye nti olina unexplained infertility Unexplained infertility chiba chitegeza nti test zona zona ozikoze zili nomo okoze scan era zenta majigo gamala bulunji okoze tests eza hormones zila zenti hormones ozi balancing bulunji then ogenze mu maso okebedde omusulo era nago tests eza urine zila zenti zili nomo nechirala bawo naye akoze test jipita semen analysis test nenga ate nayo eraze nti bulichimu chiri nomo okebe de bulichimu chona chona chira ganti bulichimu chiri nomo naye ate oshalemedwa okubanga ofuna olubuto chino chetuita unexplained infertility unexplained infertility osobola kujijanjaba nga ogoberera instructions engendo kokera ko wano Chobo ino kukwala, o ino kubango kwa taka nane dokta o, kubwa videos dinoze, tukwala ziba basically for information purposes only, ziba za kubanga, ziku wabula, kuchibi yonu ino kubango kukwala, o kubanga, ofuna oruguta amangu, ne, o ino kwa taka nane dokta o, gwe, o mchala, bakugame ntolina, and explain the fertility, dokta o, ajakuba, akubulida, echo kukwala, dokta o, ajakuba, akwala chetuita IUI, kubwa chetuita intrauterine insemination whereby bajja kwata enkwaso ezo musajja babirenga baziteka muna banayo ndene chidala bajja kuba ba boostinga oba ba priminga amajigo chetuita ovarian boosting ajja kuteka kwede dagala ya joke sala wo dr oxinza kudagala ya bayagadde dr omaso bulokose dagala nga chromite dr malala so bulokose chike chidala che dagala nga echa gonadotropins so Vine daga yu nalina wabanga, doktor wali kuwade, ogulu mchi, nekwaso za bao ni bazite kamo na banayo, nga wako sa prosidi ya jetu ise IUI, osobo li dadala okubango funorubutu. Gwe ayagalo kogera muko nange, oline yuguzo vina vyo nina, yu ayagalo kubanga, onevo za koku, butia osobo li kubango funorubutu amangu. Kuba ku namba zange ze simu 0701797876 eyo kubira eri 0787668962 kubira ko oje you started your periods on the 27th of January this year 2022 and you would like to know when are you going to ovulate You started your periods on the 27th of January this year and you would like to know when are you going to ovulate? Well, I'm going to answer this question that has been asked by one of our viewers here on YouTube that she got her menses on the 27th of January this year and she would like to know when is she going to ovulate? Yatandika period ze nga abili musambu guno mwezo ga January ayagala kumanya di rwagendo kubanga afulumiji chetu ita ovulation. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel and remember if it's your first time on our channel, on this channel we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. You started your periods on the 27th of January. You would like to know when are you going to ovulate. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg that happens on the 14th day from the first day you've seen your periods. So if you saw your periods today, 14 days from today, that's when you are going to ovulate, assuming that all factors are kept constant. If you have issues with your Menses, if you have conditions like endometriosis, fibroids, or leomyomas, or even if you do have an ovarian dysfunctional disorder, then it means that your periods might actually become irregular. So if you are a lady and you are having irregular periods, this actually could be an indication that there's something happening with your hormones. But our friend started her periods on the 27th of January this year and then she would like to know when she is going to ovulate.
We said that ovulation is the 14th day from the first day you saw your period. So from 27th of January, when our friend saw her periods, we shall count and say 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, basically that is now in Feb. So it means that if she saw her periods on the 27th of January this year, then we just simply count 14 days and actually she is supposed to be ovulating or she ovulated on the 9th of February. I hope this question has been answered. One of our viewers asked a question and she said that she saw her menses on the 27th of January and we actually were counting her menstrual or we are counting her ovulation day when she is most likely to get pregnant. And we have said that if she ovulated on the 27th of January, I mean if she saw her menses on the 27th of January, then it means she ovulated on the 9th of February. And since already we've passed that date of uh, 9th of February, you should not worry. You should not actually uh, feel despaired and, uh, and lose uh, interest that you will not actually get pregnant. You can get pregnant again. All you need to do is actually begin afresh. Wait for the next period and then count afresh. Still, the first day you saw your periods, take it as day one and then, of course, count 14 days. On the 14th day, that's when you are most likely going to ovulate and that's when the chances of getting pregnant are very high. But remember, even the three days leading to the day of ovulation actually play a big part. Your chances of getting pregnant will increase. Talk to me on my WhatsApp if you do have any questions about fertility and, of course, Stay blessed. May God bless us all. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching today's video. See you in my next video tomorrow. And bye-bye. Take care. You saw your periods on Feb, the 8th of Feb, and then you would like to know when are you going to ovulate. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg on the 14th day from the first day when you saw your periods. Taking this formula into account and assuming that your periods are regular, you are on a 24 menstrual cycle or you are on 28th menstrual cycle and everything has been regular, you are not having any issues with your periods, then we shall use this method of counting 14 days. But remember, if your periods are irregular, then there's a different method we can use. She saw her periods on Feb 8th and then she's asking when is she going to ovulate. In other words, when is she going to be releasing the mature egg, also known as a dominant follicle, or when are her chances of getting pregnant at the highest. If she saw her periods on Feb 8th, we shall say that we shall take the eighth, okay? We shall say the, the, that day you see your periods is it's the day we say it is day one, okay? So if you see your periods, for example, today, today is a Saturday, and you see your, you you've seen your periods today, and then tomorrow you'll see your periods again. The next day you see your periods. I mean, the first day you see your periods is always the first day. We call it the day one, and and I'm taking this into consideration. Our friend saw her periods on Feb 8th, so we shall say that 9th is the second day, 10th is the, is the third day, we shall count on 11, 12, 13, 14, up to 21st, okay, up to 21st of Feb, on, from, the, from Feb 8th, okay, from the 8th of Feb, when she saw her periods up to the 21st day of February, okay? In, in other words, when you begin from 8 up to 21, okay? So 8 up to 21 days. In between, from 8 up to day 21, that is actually, the, the, the day 21 is actually, is, is what we call the ovulation day. In a nutshell, if our friend saw her periods, or if you saw your periods, beginning from 8th we just add 14 days 
to uh, the day you saw your periods and then we shall get uh, the, the, the days and this is basically from 8th we count 14 days and then when we count 14 days we shall end up with 21 being the day of ovulation so our friend you asked this question I hope you've got your answer you saw your periods on Feb 8th we counted from 8th we said 9 10 like that up to 21 and we said that on the 21st day that is when you are most likely going to ovulate and of course today is a Saturday and uh, today is a Saturday and today is the 19th of Feb so it means that from today I think roughly some few days up to 21 on the 21st day that's when you are going to be ovulating now if you are looking at increasing your chances of getting pregnant it's always very very important that you actually utilize even the three days leading to the, the 14th day in other words from 21 count three days backwards and we shall say 21 and then you go backwards and you say uh, 20th we say 19th and then we say 18th okay so beginning from the 18th day up to the 21st day that's actually when your chances of getting pregnant are very very high so if you do have any other questions let me know and remember on this channel we do talk about fertility we do also create awareness about ultrasound scans if you have done an ultrasound scan and then you are actually not understanding the result very well you can kindly come to our whatsapp numbers just down here and then connect with me and i will interpret your reports and then advise accordingly remember self-medication is not not good so always follow what your doctor tells you and of course if you feel unwell do not sit at home always go to hospital talk to the doctors they will advise you on what to do Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel, and I thank you for uh, attending today's live session, to, I mean today's uh, video lesson about fertility, calculating the ovulation day for our friend who started her periods on Feb 8th, and we said that on, when we count from Feb 8th, the day she's going to ovulate is actually the print first day. So if you also have a question out there and you would like me to answer your question, just go to the comments and ask your question. I will be able to answer. I will translate this video for our viewers who understand Luganda also. And to the click of the channel, the viewers of the channel, the viewers of the channel, the doctor, the other period is Namanana, omezi ogoku bili Na hati okuwa kolo Ayagala kumanya di Ruagendo kubanga ovulating Oba watu watu ogendo ku ovulation Mluganda chiba chitegeza EG wevayo Okubanga disinkana enkwaso ezo musajja So tukambi niti watu watu baze Okuwa kuruna kuru yalaba period ze Obala no gamba niti Feb nga manana Feb nga muenda nga kumi nga kumi na bidi ni wayo ngila wocho nga wala enako kumi na nya wabunako uwe kumi na nya uwe uwe tuita the day of ovulation wabunako uwe unako ejiri uwe gendo uvayo kusisinkana kwa so ezo musajja so wabango wa day oyagala kumanya di uwe gendo kubango ovulating wala wa period zo zata andika nga munana omwezo goku bidi chiba chitegeza nga bidi mudu mu omwezo goku bidi Lero gendo kubango ovulating Lero tulinga Lero nga mkaa ganga kumi na muenda So chiba chitegeza na kontini nyo Oja kuba ogenda mo ovulation nyo Kwa ku increasing Kwa ku ungeza chances zo Ezo kufuna lubuto Chandi ba techidu nji inobanga O spending more time with your partner Spend more time with your partner And also remember to manage stress If you can, you can actually also avoid stressors Why do I talk about stress and stressors? Because I mean, we are living in a stressful world, okay? But you choose what you attract. You choose what you put your focus on. If you put your focus on negative thoughts and uh, you surround yourself with negative-minded people, then it means whatever will be coming into your life will be negative. So you can actually choose to make a turnaround and then you actually begin associating yourself with positive-minded uh, people, people who really believe and pray to God and believe that things will be fine. So if you are looking at getting pregnant, you are a couple, you've tried to get pregnant and things are not working out, remember one thing, my friend, there's only one person who is above 
us all and that is God. You can listen to us, the experts, you can talk to your doctors, you can actually do all your own research, but the most important thing you need to take from this video is that God is above everything. God is above infertility. God is above divorce. God is above disease. And God is above cancer. So I would really say if you are looking at uh, what should you do? You've done everything. You've taken all the drugs. You've been advised. It's high time you put your trust in God. Follow what the experts tell you. Follow what the doctors advise you. But remember to kneel down and pray. Read your Bible. If you are a Muslim, read your Quran and pray to Allah. And one thing you have to know is that when we move closer to God, God moves closer to us. So make sure that you put God first and then follow what the experts tell you. Believe in your heart that you will get pregnant if you have tried for a long time. Believe in your heart that you will get pregnant. Put God first and by the grace of God, I believe everything will be fine. Thanks for attending today's video lesson. See you in my next video tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. And greetings. Bye-bye. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg on the 14th day from the first day when you saw your periods. Taking this formula into account and assuming that your periods are regular. You are on a 24 menstrual cycle or you are on 28th menstrual cycle and everything has been regular you are not having any issues with your periods then we shall use this method of counting 14 days but What are the causes of a missed period? Tukenda kudamu echibuzo echibuzi dua omu viewers of the nga abuza nti bichi ebivira ko omuchara okubanga a missing periods bichi ebivira ko omuchara okubanga a missing periods Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel and if it's your first time on our channel remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day missed period what are the causes so if you are expecting to see your periods today and then you you do not see your periods the first thing which will come on your mind is you could be pregnant as a woman remember on this channel we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health so if you miss your periods it could be that you are pregnant or miss the period so unomezi over over the link not over the period so they know they know the missing change of one the tickets and one one of your logo the next cause of a missed period is you could be having imbalances in your hormones when we talk about hormones these are the chemical messengers of your body you as a woman are born with specific hormones for example there's the follicle stimulating hormone also abbreviated as fsh this plays a big role in stimulating your follicles or your eggs so that they do grow and then they actually it can be fertilized a mature egg is known as a dominant follicle on the 14th day it can be fertilized to become a baby to become an embryo to gambia nt echo kubiri echo soro kubanga chiviri deko okubanga toli kulaba period zo chinzo okubanga olina chetu ita homono imbalance to gambia nt chisoka wandibanga wafinye olubuto echo kubiri wainzo okubanga olina chetu ita homono imbalance the next cause of you missing your periods is that you could be having disease of the womb disease of the uterus for example, you could be having fibroids, you could be having actually cysts or even ovarian cysts. These are swellings on your ovaries. They interfere with how your ovaries are going to function. Your ovaries become what we call dysfunctional. To come into a chiralic soul of Villa Po or Zibuno, Kokobanga, Wandibango in a chiradi, a chanavana, a chivil de Kokobanga, a magico de Gakola Bulonji, a chivil de Kokobanga Navana, yo, telic functioning of Bulonji. Because for you to see your periods, actually your hormones should be balancing. The hormones we talk about 
on our channel here include the follicle stimulating hormone which is responsible for your eggs and then also the progesterone hormone or progesterone hormone and then also estrogen so if these are not balancing then you could actually have issues with you, with your period so if you have missed your periods all you need to do right now is do a pregnancy test you could do the urine hcg pregnancy test where you'll get the urine stick which will actually be used to test your urine and then you could also do the serum hcg pregnancy test and lastly you could think about doing a pelvic ultrasound scan let me answer all your questions on my whatsapp numbers they are just across this video and remember to have yourself a great day see you in my next video tomorrow Thanks for watching. If you've watched this video up to this, uh, this far, thanks for watching and see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye-bye. Different gender prediction tests. Are you trying to identify or are you trying to determine the gender of your growing baby in the womb? You are pregnant, you would like to know whether you are carrying a baby boy or a baby girl. In this video today, we are going to discuss the different gender prediction tests. Stay with me up to the end of this video and by the end of this video, you will be able to know how to do a gender prediction test. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos I release every day about fertility and reproductive health. We are trying to call it to be able to do a gender prediction test. We are trying to call it a gender prediction test. We are trying to call it a gender prediction test. Nika epese ya red oleme okumisinga videos zituteka yo ubulikanako Gender prediction tests There are many gender prediction tests on the market There are many gender prediction tests out there That have been uh, discussed many times For example, the Chinese gender prediction test The Drano gender prediction test The hairline or the hairstyle a gender prediction test which basically looks at how the hair is distributed along the head of the of the growing baby but what i'm going to emphasize is that the the best way to uh, determine your gender at uh, the gender of the baby is by doing an ultrasound scan wabango bato likuwe uza wutia wosobulo kubanga Omanya over a student over ogena kuzala mana mwala over mana mrenzi olina okubanga okwala chetu yita an ultrasound scan ebe so bulo kulaga ekifana ne kitufu chichi chenye chigena maso if you do an ultrasound scan chances are your doctor will actually be able to visualize or your doctor will be able to see images of the growing baby and actually with good ultrasound scan machines the gender of the growing baby will be very very visible but there are many factors which could limit this wabango bado koze scan wali wabu intubi nje visoburo kubanga bide mesa gender yomwana kubanga irabika the factors that could interfere with the results of the gender prediction tests through ultrasound scan is when a woman is very fat or when a woman a pregnant mother is obese there are high chances that due to the high amounts of the fat tissue fatty tissue along the abdominal wall the ultrasound scan waves may not be very very able to penetrate through the fat layer and therefore the resulting image may not be very clear in women who are pregnant and they have lots of gas in their abdomen there are high chances that the results may actually not be very clear because too much gas it distorts the sound waves the images are distorted due to the gassy uh, shadows wabanga obade okoze scan nayate nawezula ntobade olirubuto olimuchala olimuchala manene olirubuto walina gas munji olirubuto ina masavu manje obaina esavu linje lyokurubuto changunyo okubanga results za scan zira ganti kwa ziri very clear so if you are looking at doing a gender prediction test, make sure that you actually do what we call a pelvic 
ultrasound scan but according to law it's not allowed for your doctor to actually disclose the gender of the growing baby although you can discuss this with your doctor in the consultation room or in the room where they are doing the procedure the ultrasound scan your doctor can see something and they will tell you but according to law it's not allowed for you to actually add it is not allowed to officially document the gender of the growing baby. Depending on the country you are from, it, the different laws apply. So maybe in your country, they allow to disclose the gender of the growing baby. But in some countries, like India, the law is very strict. The doctor doing the ultrasound scan is not supposed to talk about the gender. They're supposed to talk about other parameters, for example, the position of the baby, whether the growing baby has enough or sufficient amniotic fluid, whether the heartbeat is normal. So they're supposed to talk about other parameters. But the gender, it is actually not allowed in many countries. Kurachi msawo aganyo kubulira sex eyo mwana oba gender eyo mwana chandi bade chirungi okumanya anti ensi ezimu tezikiriza ngete ka tezikiriza okubanga doctor wo akubulira gender eyo mwana so olina okubanga doctor wo tomuteka nyoko bunkenke kubanga takubulide gender eyo mwana tomanya maybe eteka liba take it get dual by the one batch take out the bar the back is of discussing a gender your man over need that when you saw someone that yellow you don't see over scan tell as a bulunji gender your man so about a girl of wanga at a a quad result says jelly conclusive thank you for watching today's video and i believe by the end of this video you now know that the best way to determine the gender of the growing baby is through or is by doing what we call an ultrasound scan, specifically an obstetric ultrasound scan. Wabango bade umaliza video ya femo, weba renyo, okubela na fe, na icho ino kumanya chidi niti. Engiri emu yoka yoka, joso ulo kumanya gender yomana, kwekubanga okola ultrasound scan, obaka TV. Weba renyo, okola wa video za fe, era kambulabi mvideo eyencha. Thank you for watching today's video. Let me see you in tomorrow's video, and God bless. Bye bye. Sanyu sanyu mkwano guange okula wa kuvideo ya fene ya liru Ngenda kudamu echevuzo kuruachi Ochale medua okubanga ufuna oruguto Okoze bulichimicho na chona Scans ozikoze na inga ate Ochale medua okubanga ufuna oruguto Liru yetu gendo okubanga toge lako In this video today we are going to discuss What could be preventing you from getting pregnant What could be preventing you from getting pregnant We are going to talk about the anti-mullerian hormone and then we are going to talk about the fully co-stimulating hormone tukenda kogela ku hormones bili hormone yesoka jeno jetu yise anti-mullerian hormone and then hormone eyoko bili jeno jetu yise fully co-stimulating hormone the anti-mullerian hormone is basically a hormone which actually is released and then it gives us a picture of how your ovaries are. It, it gives us a picture about the quality of your eggs. Are they really viable? Can they produce a dominant fully co a dominant egg which could be fertilized on the 14th day? So, more video of a little hormone, the three and Mulerian hormone. Anti Mulerian hormone, you know, a sobro tulaga, a magico garigatia. Anti Mulerian hormone, you know, no more a nakwanga tandikira mumusanvu, baka kukumi. Mumsi ezimu esoro kubanga bala gante tandike enok tandike na musamvu baka kukuminemu The normal levels of the anti-mullerian hormone should be at least beginning from 7 onwards up to 10 If you do the fertility test, if you do the pregnancy test And then it shows you that the anti-mullerian hormone levels are actually lower than 5 You are having a, an AMH level of 1, 1.2, 1.8 then it means that it is very low. It means your eggs are of low quality. You need medication to stimulate your eggs. And modern hormone testeno. Ogo nga ojikoze. Ne results nezivayo. Nezila ganti AMH. Oba levels is neza AMH. Hormone yeno jibaita jibaita AMH. Webanga eriwa sinyo. Deni jibaita gizanti. Oba weta gisa treatment. Ngeli targeted okubanga eteriza hormone zo. Oba hormone yeno jibaita AMH. We are also discussing about the second hormone known as the fully co-stimulating hormone. FSH. 
follicle stimulating hormone tuliko gera ku hormone eyo ku bilije tuise AMH hormone yenu i mean hormone yetu ise follicle stimulating hormone oba FSH hormone yenu ate nayo e playing a chinene nyo okulaba anti amajiga na gali okukula gakula bulunji gabelenga ate gasubulu kubanga gawa kisibwa oba gabela fertilized kulunaku ora ovulation the follicle stimulating hormone is normally released when a woman has just finished her periods when the eggs are now beginning to grow what stimulates these eggs to grow to become what we call a viable or a dominant follicle is what we call the FSH or the follicle stimulating hormone gwe mkwano gwange aine chibuzeyo olikwebuza osobolo tyo kubanga ofuna olubuto olikwebuza okozo tyo kubanga ofuna olubuto nebuza ko tulabenga ate togera ebisinga ko mu video ya feno obanga to bookings ku clinic ya gene tulawansi ne togera give me a call today if you have any questions and remember to support our work by donating you can give your gift just go below the fit this video and then you'll be able to donate towards our work we are looking at reaching many pregnant mothers with free ultrasound scans a pregnant mother who does a free ultrasound scan and identifies what could be disturbing her or identifies a problem before it actually before giving birth they, they could actually be treated very early and uh, you could actually we could end up saving a life so join us by giving your gift we jujukira nti ndina twina bitulio kutambuza byo kubanga kwegamba tutukirira abachala banji ngatukola scans ezo bwedere geza ko okulabanga owaye chona chona chobosobode osobola kubanga donatinga owaye gala kuwayo wansi wana wa video eno genda mu description box oberengo nyige pesa eryo bajja kutwala ku page oberenga ate owaye chona chona chobosobode chobo wedere chona chona oba chobo twade chona chibaisa donation tujja kuba tulabanga tuchikwatira wamu tufune scans enyinje enyo bulo kutukirira abachala abali embuto tubakoleko scans ezo bwedere bela bulunji omukama atukume kankula bi mvidiye yencha thanks a lot for watching today's video let me see you uh, in tomorrow's video have yourself a great day and god bless bye bye kezeza ko okubanga ofuna olubuto nenga te doctor wo abugambye nti olina chetuita an explained infertility olikwebuza kino kitegeza chi osobolotya okubanga ofuna olubuto amangu wadde bakugambye nti olina an explained infertility mweno video tugenda kogera ku butya osobolo kubanga ofuna amangu olubuto wadde doctor wo abugambye nti olina an explained infertility an explained infertility chiba kitegeza nti test zona zona ozikoze zili nomo okoze scan era zenta amajigo gamala bulunji okoze tests eza hormones zila zenti hormones zo zibalansinga bulunji then ogenze mu maso okebedde omusulo era nago tests eza urine zila zenti zili nomo nichirala bawo naye akoze test jipita semen analysis test nenga ate nayo eraze nti bulichimu chidi nomo okebe de bulichimu chona chona chiraga nti bulichimu chidi nomo naye ate oshalemedwa okubanga ofuna olubuto chino chetuita an explained infertility an explained infertility osobola kujijanjaba nga ogoberera instructions engendo kogera ko wano Chobo ino kola au ino kubanga kwatagana ne doctor wo kuba videos zino ze tukola ziba basically for information purposes only ziba za kubanga zikuwabula kuchibi ino kubanga kola okubanga ofuna olubuta amangu ne ino kwatagana ne doctor wo gwe omuchala bakugamment olina and explain fertility doctor wo ajja kuba akubulira echo kola doctor wo ajja kuba akola chetwita IUI oba chetwita intra uterine insemination whereby bajja kwata enkwaso ezo musajja babirenga baziteka muna banayo ndi nechidala bajja kuba ba boosting oba ba priming amajigo chetwita ovarian boosting ajja kuteka kwede dagala ya jokusala wo doctor oxinza kudagala ya bayagadde doctor maso bolo kosse dagala nga chromite doctor malala so bolo kosse chikechira le chedagala nga echa gonadotropins so bine dagala nali nawo abanga doctor wali kwade obulunji ne kwaso za bawo ne baziteka mu nabanayo nga bakosa procedure je twise IUI osobolira dala okubanga ofuna olubuto gwe ayagala okogera mu konange oline ibuzo bina byonna byo ayagala okubanga onebuza ko kubutya bo osobolo okubanga ofuna olubuto amangu kuba ku namba zange ze simu 0701 79 78 76 Eyo kubiredi 0787 668 962
kubirako oje you started your periods on the 27th of january this year 2022 and you would like to know when are you going to ovulate you started your periods on the 27th of january this year and you would like to know when are you going to ovulate i'm going to answer this question that has been asked by one of our viewers here on youtube that she got her menses on the 27th of january this year and she would like to know when is she going to ovulate yatandika periods nga abiri musanvu guno mwezo ga january ayagala kumanya di rwagendo kubanga afulumiji chetuita ovulation Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. And remember, if it's your first time on our channel, on this channel we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. You started your periods on the 27th of January. You would like to know when are you going to ovulate. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg that happens on the 14th day. From the first day, you've seen your periods. So... If you saw your period today, 14 days from today, that's when you are going to ovulate, assuming that all factors are kept constant. If you have issues with your menses, if you have conditions like endometriosis, fibroids or leomyomas, or even if you do have an ovarian dysfunctional disorder, then it means that your periods might actually become irregular. So if you are a lady and you are having irregular periods, this actually could be an indication that there's something happening with your hormones. But our friend started her periods on the 27th of January this year, and then she would like to know when she is going to ovulate. We said that ovulation is the 14th day from the first day you saw your period. So from 27th of January, when our friend saw her periods, we shall count and say 27, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Basically, that is now in Feb. So it means that if she saw her periods on the 27th of January this year, then we just simply count 14 days and actually she is supposed to be ovulating or she ovulated on the 9th of February. I hope this question has been answered. One of our viewers asked a question and she said that she saw her menses on the 27th of January and we actually were counting her menstrual or we are counting her ovulation day when she is most likely to get pregnant. And we have said that if she ovulated on the 27th of January, I mean, if she saw her message on the 27th of January, then it means she ovulated on the 9th of February. And since already we've passed that date of uh, 9th of February, you should not worry. You should not actually uh, feel this paired and, uh, and lose uh, interest that you will not actually get pregnant. You can get pregnant again. All you need to do is actually begin afresh wait for the next period and then count afresh still the first day you saw your periods take it as day one and then of course count 14 days on the 14th day that's when you are most likely going to ovulate and that's when the chances of getting pregnant are very high but remember even the three days leading to the day of ovulation actually play a big part your chances of getting pregnant will increase Talk to me on my WhatsApp if you do have any questions about fertility. And of course, stay blessed. May God bless us all. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching today's video. See you in my next video tomorrow. And bye-bye. Take care. You saw your periods on Feb, the 8th of Feb. And then you would like to know when are you going to ovulate? Ovulation is the release of a mature egg 
on the 14th day from the first day when you saw your periods taking this formula into account and assuming that your periods are regular you are on a 24 menstrual cycle or you are on 20 eighth menstrual cycle and everything has been regular you are not having any issues with your periods then we shall use this method of counting 14 days but remember if your periods are irregular then there's a different method we can use she saw her periods on feb 8th and then she's asking when is she going to ovulate in other words when is she going to be releasing the mature egg also known as a dominant follicle or when are her chances of getting pregnant at the highest if she saw her periods on feb 8th we shall say that we shall take the eighth okay we shall say the, the that day you see your periods is it's the day we say it is day one okay so if you see your periods for example today today is a saturday and you see your you, you've seen your periods today and then tomorrow you'll see your periods again the next day you see your periods i mean the first day you see your periods is always the first day we call it the day one and and i'm taking this into consideration our friend saw her periods on Feb 8th, so we shall say that 9th is the second day, 10th is the, is the third day, we shall count on 11, 12, 13, 14, up to 21st, okay, up to 21st of Feb, on, from, the, from Feb 8th, okay, from the 8th of Feb, when she saw her periods up to the 21st day of february okay in, in other words when you begin from 8 up to 21 okay so 8 up to 21 days in between from 8th up to day 21 that is actually the the, the day 21 is actually is, is what we call the ovulation day in a nutshell if our friend saw her periods or if you saw your periods beginning from 8th we just add 14 days to uh, the day you saw your periods and then we shall get uh, the, the, the days and this is basically from 8th we count 14 days and then when we count 14 days we shall end up with 21 being the day of ovulation so our friend you asked this question i hope you've got your answer you saw your periods on feb 8th we counted from 8th we said 9 10 like that up to 21 and we said that on the 21st day that is when you are most likely going to ovulate late and of course today is a saturday and the, today is a saturday and today is the 19th of feb so it means that from today i think roughly some few days up to 21 on the 21st day that's when you are going to be ovulating now if you are looking at increasing your chances of getting pregnant it's always very very important that you actually utilize even the three days leading to the, to the 14th day in other words from 21 count three days backwards and we shall say 21 and then you go backwards and you say uh, 20th we say 19th and then we say 18th okay so beginning from the 18th day up to the 21st day that's actually when your chances of getting pregnant are very very high so if you do have any other questions let me know and remember on this channel we do talk about fertility we do also create awareness about ultrasound scans if you have done an ultrasound scan and then you are actually not understanding the results very well you can kindly come to our whatsapp numbers just down here and then connect with me and i will interpret your reports and then advise accordingly remember self-medication is not not good so always follow what your doctor tells you and of course if you feel unwell do not sit at home always go to hospital talk to the doctors they will advise you on what to do Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel, and I thank you for uh, attending today's live session, to, I mean today's uh, video lesson about fertility, calculating the ovulation day for our friend who started her periods on Feb 8th, and we said that on, when we count from Feb 8th, the day she's going to ovulate is actually the 20th first day so if you also have a question out there and you would like me to answer your question just go to the comments and ask your question i will be able to answer i will translate this video for our viewers who understand luganda also 
andi tuwadi tuliko gena ku echibuze chavu zidua omu kuba vio wazi wafe era ya buze echibuze na gama andi doktor ya lewa period ze nga nga mnana omezi ogoku bili na hati wakufa kolo ayagala kumanya di ruwa gendo kubanga ovulating waba watu watu wa gendo ku ovulation mluganda chiba chitegeza eji wevayo wakubanga disinka na enkwaso ezo msajja so tukambi niti watu watu wa ze wakufa kuru na kuru ya laba period ze wabala no gamba niti feb nga mnana feb nga mwenda nga kumi nga kumi na bidi ni wayongi la bocho nubala ena kukumi na nya waluna kule kumi na nya luerule tuita the day of ovulation waba luerule ku ejido yu gendo kufayo kusisinkana eh, kwa so ezo musajja so wabango wa day wayagala kumanya di luo gendo kubango ovulatinga walaba period zo zata andika nga munana omwezo goku bidi chiba chitegeza nga abidi mudu mu omwezo goku bidi Lero gendo kubango ovulating Lero tulinga Lero nukaa ganga kumi na muenda So chiba chitegeza na kontini nyo Oja kuba ogenda mu ovulation nyo Kwa ku increasing Ogo kuongeza chances zo Ezo kufuna lubuto Chandi bade chidu nji inobanga O spending more time with your partner Spend more time with your partner And also remember to manage stress If you can, you can actually also avoid stressors Why do I talk about stress and stressors? Because I mean, we are living in a stressful world, okay? But you choose what you attract. You choose what you put your focus on. If you put your focus on negative thoughts and uh, you surround yourself with negative-minded people, then it means whatever will be coming into your life will be negative. So you can actually choose to make a turnaround and then you actually begin associating yourself with positive-minded uh, people, people who really believe and pray to God and believe that things will be fine. So if you are looking at getting pregnant, you are a couple, you've tried to get pregnant and things are not working out. Remember one thing, my friend, there's only one person who is above us all and that is God. You can listen to us, the experts, you can talk to your doctors, you can actually do all your own research, but the most important thing you need to take from this video is that God is above everything. God is above infertility. God is above divorce god is above disease and god is above cancer so i would really say if you are looking at uh, what should you do you've done everything you've taken all the drugs you've been advised it's high time you put your trust in god follow what the experts tell you follow what the doctors advise you but remember to kneel down and pray read your bible if you are a muslim read your quran and pray to allah and one thing you have to know is that when we move closer to god god moves closer to us so make sure that you put god first and then follow what the experts tell you believe in your heart that you will get pregnant if you have tried for a long time believe in your heart that you will get pregnant put god first and by the grace of god i believe everything will be fine thanks for attending today's video lesson see you in my next video tomorrow i'll be waiting for you have a nice evening have a nice day and greetings bye bye ovulation is the release of a mature egg on the 14th day from the first day when you saw your periods taking this formula into account and assuming that your periods are regular you are on a 24 menstrual cycle or you are on 28th menstrual cycle and everything has been regular you are not having any issues with your periods then we shall use this method of counting 14 days but What are the causes of a missed period? To get a good amount of chibuzo, a chibuzi dua om. Viewers of a fe, nga abu zanti. Bichi ebi vira ko omchara, okubanga a missing a period ze. Bichi ebi vira ko omchara, okubanga a missing a period ze. 
Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. And if it's your first time on our channel, remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day. Missed period. What are the causes? So, if you are expecting to see your periods today, and then you do not see your periods, the first thing which will come on your mind is you could be pregnant as a woman. Remember, on this channel, we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. So, if you miss your periods, it could be that you are pregnant. Or missing the period so no mezi over over doing no okolaba period so lero nay no zi missing chin zo kubanga chitegazanti wan devanga of nyolobuto. The next cause of a missed period is you could be having imbalances in your hormones. When we talk about hormones, these are the chemical messengers of your body. You as a woman are born with specific hormones. For example, there's the follicle stimulating hormone, also abbreviated as FSH. This plays a big role in stimulating your follicles or your eggs so that they do grow and then they actually, it can be fertilized. A mature egg is known as a dominant follicle. On the 14th day, it can be fertilized to become a baby, to become an embryo. To gamble in a chocobidi, a chocobidi, a chocobanga chizidi deco, a cobanga tolicular period zoo, chin zocobanga olina chetuita, hormonal imbalance. To gamble in the chisoka, while the banga of finia or buto, a chocobidi, or in zocobanga olina chetuita, hormonal imbalance. The next cause of you missing your periods is that you could be having disease of the womb, disease of the uterus. For example, you could be having fibroids, you could be having actually cysts or even ovarian cysts. These are swellings on your ovaries. They interfere with how your ovaries are going to function. Your ovaries become what we call dysfunctional. To come into a chiral exolo covira co or wizibumuno, que kubanga wan divango in each radi, a chanavana, a chivil de co kubanga a majiko tegakola bulunji, a chivil de kubanga navana yo telic functioning abulunji. Because for you to see your periods, actually your hormones should be balancing. The hormones we talk about on our channel here include the follicle stimulating hormone, which is responsible for your eggs, and then also the progesterone hormone or progesterone hormone, and then also estrogen. So if these are not balancing, then you could actually have issues with you, with your period. So if you have missed your periods, all you need to do right now is do a pregnancy test. You could do the urine HCG pregnancy test where you'll get the heuristic which will actually be used to test your urine and then you could also do the serum HCG pregnancy test and lastly you could think about doing a pelvic ultrasound scan. Let me answer all your questions on my WhatsApp numbers. They are just across this video and remember to have yourself a great day. See you in my next video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you've watched this video up to this, uh, this far, thanks for watching and see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.